It's a question as old as what came first, the chicken or the egg? How long is a piece of string? And what swims faster, a horse or a dog? And that question is what we're answering today. How long should you be spending per week revising? In this video, I'm going to break it down into two separate answers, and that's because there's a simple answer, which we're going to start with, and a bit of a more complicated answer as well. So before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get revision tips every single week. Tuesday evenings is the time it comes out. Now let's start with the simple answer. Student Rooms, which is a really good online forum. If you haven't checked it out, you should do. It's got loads of revision tips and advice, etc said on average students are spending between 15 and 20 hours a week revising. Now this is a massively simplified figure because of course there are times where you can't do that because you've got school work on still for instance and then there are other times where you've got a revision period where you've got nothing else to do and you're probably going to be spending more than that but it's not a bad place to start. So if I was going to spend 15 to 20 hours of work per week, let's say. How would I do that right now, fitting it around my schoolwork? Well, what I do is firstly get my revision timetable, which should be appearing right about there, probably. And I would plan my week accordingly. I'd see what lessons I had, I'd see what things I needed to do in terms of my social life and sport life, whatever. And then I'd find slots to fit it in. So this is what it might look like if I was gonna do it. Uh, I would start with one hour per day in the morning, so uh, in the weekday, so I'd do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, one hour in the morning, then I'd do another one hour in the evening. So that might be including homework if it's revision, um, but if you're doing that, that's a pretty good place to start because it means you're cracking out 10 hours overall in the weekday. i then do maybe three hours on a Saturday and then three hours on a Sunday. Now this would make 16 hours a week, which I think is pretty doable and maybe could be something that you aim towards. But of course it's on a case by case basis, but give that a go. If you can mix it up if it's not working for you, but give that a go. I think that would work for me. Now onto the slightly more complex answer. Now I don't think you should be focusing on that question quite as much as a lot of people do because it's not the amount of time that you're spending revising, it is how smart you're revising. This should be the question at the forefront of your head. And just to illustrate this, I'm gonna tell you about Parkinson's law. Now Parkinson's law states that whatever amount of time that you set to do something, you will automatically fill that time to do it. And this is something you might have experienced in your own life. Have you ever had an hour and a half to do an assignment and you fill the whole thing and you do a really good job, but then on another assignment, you might have completely forgotten to do the homework until the very last minute and 10 minutes before the lesson, you start scribbling down whatever you can. And that bit of work is probably not gonna be as good as the one that you spent an hour and a half on, but it's not bad, it might be 80% there. And this is something that I found as a teacher as well. I could spend an hour and a half making the perfect lesson, but then sometimes I just have 10 minutes because I got caught up in something else and that 10 minute lesson was pretty good. I filled the time that was given to me. You find a way of making it work. And I think exactly the same thing applies with revision. So that's why you should focus on doing it smarter. Revise the smart way, spend less time getting more knowledge into your head. Now, how are you gonna do this? Well, firstly, I've already said at the beginning, I would subscribe to this channel because we've got weekly advice coming out every time. Really practical stuff. But aside from self-promotion, there are a few other things I would do as well. Firstly, I'd spend half an hour to an hour a week allocated to revising smarter time. So what do I mean by this? Firstly, I mean planning your week's revision. Are you planning the topics that you need to recap that week? Are you making sure that your folders are well organized so you can easily recap them every morning if you need to? Secondly, I look at the techniques that you're using. So for instance, mind maps, I think they're used so wrongly so oftenly. I've got a video on this if you wanna learn how to do them properly. But make sure that you're actually doing these techniques so that 
you're learning the proper way in the minimum amount of time. And thirdly, I'd always check that you're genuinely understanding what you're revising. We're gonna do a video on this at a later date. So I hope this has been a useful video for you. As ever, please do comment any questions or issues you might have in terms of revision below. I'm gonna answer to every single comment that comes through. Until next time, see you later. Thank you.